the path that I took to get where I am now is, you know, I went to art school in Colorado where I grew up and, you know, I learned kind of how to teach myself 3D stuff there because it was a brand new program. Uh, from there, I moved out here to California. I went to Noman and that's where everything kind of started picking up for me and I really learned a lot more about this industry and meet, you know, I met a lot of people. And um, from there, I got into the talent development program at Disney, which is sort of like an apprenticeship program. And in that program, I was able to study underneath, you know, people who are really, really good at what they do and ask them a lot of questions and kind of be a trainee apprentice at the same time that I was, you know, learning the ropes of how to work on a feature film. And then I've been at Disney for about five years now. If I had to look back and, you know, think of any moments where I really had to, you know, it was kind of a decision make or break uh, type of situation. It was just making the decision to pursue this career. I could have stayed in Colorado and, you know, probably done something artistic, but making that decision to, to come out and immerse myself in this industry and, and really learn as much as I could was, you know, the pivotal moment for me. Some of the things that I'm really proud of so far is just the films I've gotten to work on. My first film was Wreck-It Ralph at Disney and that was just super super fun huge variety of characters so it was just like the perfect thing for me to jump into um, you know it's been just a really nice experience for me I've learned just a ton from working with the people there um, so it's it just continues to be a great experience so you know to anyone that would be trying to get into this industry and, and grow their career, I would say one of the biggest challenges that they'd face is being able to separate themselves from everyone else, you know, being able to stand out in an industry that has a lot, a lot of people in it. Um, so that's like, you know, that's where the type of information that you learn and focus on is going to set you apart from, you know, the horde of people that are trying to do the same thing that you're doing. One of the things that I think that any upcoming artist should have or should think about focusing on or adding to their repertoire is, you know, reaching out to other people that do what they do. Uh, it's easier than ever to get in contact with people now and uh, surprisingly a lot of people like to respond and talk about their art and their craft and so, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a rare thing that people do that but I think, you know, trying to find other people that do what you do and maybe know stuff that you don't, get feedback on your work and you know, just connect in that way is a, is a hugely important asset. If there was one piece of advice that I could give to anyone, it would just be to, you know, follow through with your projects and, and finish everything up, even if it never gets submitted or posted. You learn a lot from really completing things. And so, you know, I think that there's a lot of value in seeing something through all the way to the end and not just having an endless pile of work in progress. I first discovered ArtStation after, you know, there was a, a series of really popular online sites that kind of sprang up all at once where people were posting their work and actually building a community around this business, this craft. And so, you know, ArtStation was uh, one of those, you know, the ones that kind of emerged at the top of that and everyone kind of migrated to. And uh, yeah, it's just like, you know, it very quickly became the sort of central hub for people posting their, their content, their work. I think one of the things that made ArtStation more successful than some of the other sort of pop-up art websites was that it immediately instilled a, some sense of community. You know, it was kind of like combined all of these things that we like about social media, you know, uh, being able to follow people, in addition to being able to place, you know, your, your artwork up for everybody to see. And it was done in a way that was really like easy to understand and clean. It was easy to jump into. 